Okay, so I've been trying to record this video for the past few hours, and I'd get so far into it, and I would have to stop for, you know, real life. Um, so I'm going to try to burn through this as fast as I can, and hopefully get it down to 10 minutes instead of the half an hour. The first one was, and the 20-some minutes the second one was. So we're going to try to get this done in 15 minutes. So I'm going to go fast. I'm going to give you an example of what I did, and, um, and show how you do it yourself. So how to create the mount, I do not know how to do. I do know how to copy one and modify it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, now there's flying mounts and then there's normal uh, land mounts. I'm going to copy a flying mount um, just because that's what I have already. And we're just going to do the same thing again. Um, so yeah, if you, if you want, if something doesn't have wings, you probably want to do a land mount. So we'll just go with that. So I'm going to show you what I got here. I got um, two created and I gave myself the uh, Ashes of Alar. So we got the Ashes of Alar here. You know, typical. Now one thing you want to note is you after a few few beats there, it speeds up. We'll just do it again. Whoop, whoop. So we got slow wings. And now they're a little bit faster. So that's one thing I am having an issue with with this, and I'm not sure how to fix that yet. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to care. So um, I made this mount. Just a bat. Riding that. Again, you'll see it flaps a few times. And then it goes crazy, which doesn't look too bad for a bat. For other, like, dragons and stuff, you're just going to have to find the right mount. It is pretty much the right creature. And then I made this one too, just because I wanted to see what will happen. <laughs> it works great as a land mount, right? Doesn't that look good? But because I copied it from a flying mount, I can do this. <laughs> and it looks kind of neat at first, and then it starts running, and it looks pretty weird. Okay, so uh, now we're going to show you how to do this. It is. It isn't that hard. It's just a. Uh, it's a little different than the other ones we did. So we're gonna stop the world server, and I'm gonna delete my cache off the client side just to get it out of the way. Okay. So first thing you want to do is find your spell DBC on the server side, and copy it into your working directory, which is what I did here. And you probably want to do the same with the spell icon DBC, but you don't need to since we're not actually editing it. I just copied it somewhere else. That way, if I accidentally make a change, it doesn't screw up my server side. Okay, so once you copied it in your working directory, also make a copy in your backup directory. In that case, you, you really booger it up, you can always go back. All right, so we got the spell icon. We're going to open that up. And what, we're just going to find one. Oh, this is the other thing, too, um, before I forget. Um, the DBC util does not work well with the spell DBC. I don't know if it doesn't work well with other ones. I just know it doesn't work well with the spell DBC. Works great for the items, perfect for the item DBC, but it does not work with the spell DBC. So I got this uh, app. It's called My DBC Editor. It's the one I've had a long time. I know it works. There's another one called WDBX Editor, and I guess it's up more update up to date than this, but we don't need to do too much with it, so I'm not going to try it. I, I, I'll try it in the future, maybe this weekend, and if so, I'll highlight some of the differences. So open up my DBC editor and open up the spell icon, and let's just make that bigger. Uh, you might have a hard time seeing it, but we just want to look for an icon for it. And you can see they're labeled here. We're going to find one. Um, we'll call it uh, Rot Face. We're going to make a Rot Face mount. Okay. And we're looking at 4162. I'll just make a note of that number over here. Okay. So 4162 is going to be our icon. Okay. So now we can go ahead and open up the spell DBC. And look at that. There's a lot of junk in there. 
right? These are all the spells. I think there's right around 50,000 of them. So, yeah. Uh, but we're, what we're going to do is search for Ashes of All Air. So we'll do search Ashes of. And it takes a moment because that's big. And you'll see the line here that has, oh, you can't see it because it's so far down. Uh, where'd it go? Ashes. Trying to scroll up here to, so you can see it better. Okay, Ashes of All there. It's, uh, the spell is 4192. All right. So what we're going to do is right click, copy line two, and we give it a number. I'm going to give it uh, 100,002. 100,002. Only because I know there's no spells over that except for the ones I, over 100,000, except for the ones I created. Okay. So now we got 102. And what we're going to look here for, the first thing is the one, uh, column 111. Uh, and this is the model of, uh, of the uh, mount. So we're just going to look for rot face under NPCs. And his model is 36627. 36627. Okay, so we'll go ahead and drop that in here. And what is it? 134. Oh, I'm sorry, it's at the bottom again. Um, let me just hide my camera here. There we are. Um, so here on 111. We changed it to three 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 six six two seven, and on one thirty four, uh, we're going to change that to the icon number we had, which is uh, four one six two. Okay, and we'll scroll over just a little bit more to the line one twenty or column one twenty seven, one thirty seven. I'm sorry. And this is the name. So we're going to name this uh, the Rot Face Mount. And uh, what is it? 171. It's more of a description. Rot Face was gas, right? So what does it do? Watch out for gas. And we'll leave, uh, shoot, where'd it go? Okay, uh, 188, this tells you increases flight speed, whatever, you can, oh, come on, jerk. I keep hitting the bottom scroll bar. Yeah. So, yep, that's that. We're done with the spell DBC. So we just go up to File and Save. And we'll just minimize that, because we might need to come back later. I don't think so, but okay. Then you open up your MPQ editor. Um, if you watch my other videos, you get the idea already. And we just drag and drop the spell DBC in there. If you already have one in there, you can replace it. That's assuming this DBC you, you just edited has all the other stuff you want in it too. And then um, you copy you want to make sure you copy the one you just saved into your um, while server data DBC directory. Okay, we're done there. Now we need to copy the patch file. Let's actually start the world server now. And hopefully we have no errors in here. But while we're waiting for that to run, we're going to find that patch file we just created. Copy. Now you might want to make a different uh, MPQ for each um, update. Like if you do a major update to items, maybe just have item a patch for items and then a patch for spells. Um, it's up to you, I suppose. Whatever you want to do. All right. So you copy that, and we're going to take it over to our client. 
and put it into the data. We're just going to overwrite this. Okay, and we're done. So now we'll just minimize that. And uh, we can open up the client. And log in. Go to your character. Oh, and I don't remember what ID I gave it. Um, let's do um, dot lookup spell dot face. Okay, so it's uh, one thousand one hundred thousand two. So we do dot learn one zero 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 two. I've added rot face to my collection. Okay, so we'll move that over there and open up our character. I'll turn this back on. Okay, so now we have pets and we have the rot face pet. Uh, I think he was the ooze one, wasn't he? All right, so we'll just drag it and drop it. And there I am. Whoa, it's big. I really can't see it. I'll zoom out. So now I got a raw face mount. It runs all right. It runs all right. And its fly is a swim animation. <laughs> I actually don't mind that too much. So, yeah, that's it. You're done. And that took 11 minutes. I am impressed because my other ones were 30 and 40 minutes. Um, so I showed you the the flap, the wings flapping and stuff. That's an issue. Um, I don't know how to fix that. I think you actually need to change the model or script. I don't know. Um, I don't know what to tell you on that. But you got this part. Um, what you can do is uh, also create an item like a, a drop or something like that, how you learn the ashes. Um, and then just have on use, learn the spell. Um, or you can also do have it learned at a trainer. That's one thing I might be doing next is how to do trainers. Um, I really want one that I can do all the training on. Like I, I can train um, all the professions, specifically professions. That's what I really want. Um, but also the classes would be nice too, just so I can like teleport to Dalaran and do everything. Um, you know what? I guess Dalaran has all the professions there, huh? Okay, so I just want a class, class one there, but I might just make one um, for each class. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, if there's anything else you want me to try to do, um, let me know. I'll see if I can figure it out. Uh, someone asked about doing custom teleports. I might have figured that out. Um, I had issues with it, but I think I was just getting myself confused. Uh, so I'm going to try that again, again, maybe this weekend. Um, it's really late now than I wanted to be simply because I kept getting interrupted. So, and I'm not complaining about getting interrupted by the way. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, have a good night.